Ever wondered how a tiny seed turns into a mighty tree? Well, a major player in this process is the endosperm, an often overlooked but crucial part of seed development. Today, we'll delve into the fascinating world of endosperms and unravel their significance in plant reproduction. So, what exactly is an endosperm? In simple terms, it's the tissue produced inside the seeds of most flowering plants around the time of fertilization. It surrounds the embryo and provides nutrition in the form of starch, though it can also contain proteins and oils. So you can think of the endosperm as a pantry full of food that the embryo uses to grow before it can start photosynthesis. Now how does this endosperm form? It's a result of a process called double fertilization, unique to flowering plants. When a pollen grain lands on the stigma of a flower, it grows a pollen tube down into the flower's ovule. Inside the pollen grain are two sperm cells. One of these fertilizes the egg cell to form the zygote, the beginning of a new plant. The other sperm cell fuses with two polar nuclei in the ovule to form the endosperm. There are two main types of endosperm development, free nuclear and cellular. In free nuclear endosperm development, the nucleus of the cell divides multiple times without forming cell walls, creating a large sac filled with nuclei. Eventually, cell walls form and the endosperm becomes cellular. In cellular endosperm development, cell walls form after each division. So instead of a sac full of nuclei, you get a structure filled with individual cells from the very beginning. Whether free nuclear or cellular, the endosperm plays a crucial role in nurturing the embryo, providing the nutrients it needs to grow and develop. In some plants, the endosperm persists into the mature seed and even into germination, continuing to provide nutrients as the new plant begins to grow. In other plants, the endosperm is completely consumed by the developing embryo and is absent in the mature seed. In a nutshell, the endosperm is a vital part of a plant's life cycle. It originates from a unique process of double fertilization and develops into a nutrient-rich tissue that supports the growth of the embryonic plant. Whether it's a kernel of corn, a grain of wheat, or a sunflower seed, you're looking at an endosperm. So the next time you bite into a piece of fruit or plant a seed, remember the humble endosperm, the unsung hero of plant reproduction. Without it, the world as we know it would be a very different place. That wraps up our animated exploration of endosperms. We've discovered their function, how they form, and their role in plant reproduction. A fascinating journey into the world of plants, don't you think?